Welcome back, everybody, to the Alima League. Oh, let me fix up the score. Sorry, is it is tied up 1-1. It's a best of five semifinals match where the winner is guaranteed to fight the Protoss in the finals. Spawning here in the top right corner of the map, though, it's going to be the Blue Terran player, Fantasy. Neighbor left, Oz, the Red Zerg. It's dead pixels, true. So I really feel like there were a lot of instances of that game where True knew he was ahead, and he was, for all intents and purposes, just goofing around. I mean, the 51 banelings were so unnecessary, but, you know, I kind of couldn't help but feel like he must have been panicking. He did that move, and then, like, there was that big move out after the mutas died. He's like, wow, I really wish I hadn't spent, you know, that much gas and money on those BM banelings. Yeah, I think there was a bit of a uh, panic. But they were all worked out in the end for true, at least. So it's one one. Oh. Both mech games, both kind of, kind of one sided. There you go, oh. DP. That panic true. There you go. Finally found a way for that not to be inappropriate. No. But wouldn't it just stand for dead pixels? Okay, well, I'm trying to, whatever sound you have, if you want to be like that. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay then. But, oh, we got two rocks. Hey, I got two rocks. Yeah, uh, merry round overgrowth, guys. Anytime these two are in the <laughs> map, it's TVZ. Keep an eye out. T Rex is tend to come down. But here's the thing like, oh, God. I, you know, for the longest time, it's like T Rex is all in. There's no question about it. You win or you lose. You die, you go strong. But then you watch players like Maru and Marine King. And, like, as ironic and almost sarcastic as it sounds to say, like, they almost use these as openers. I definitely think Fantasy is the type of guy who can deal enough damage with this and fall back without over dedicating. But. We'll see, because for true, uh, did that Overlord scout it is going to be the big question, actually. He did. Yeah. Oh, so he knows yeah. exactly what's coming. I guess that's why he went for the pool first. Oh, dear. Technically, pool first doesn't... It can still go wrong. If a bunker gets up just once, it can still spiral out of control. But for the most part, this is kind of a hard counter. Um... I think he yeah, needs to pull need CVs. I'm going to pull like four more with this. Five more if you're really worried, but... I like this bunker placement. Like, if this goes up, this is a really great spot to uh, hide in. Marines, of course, supposed to be in here while this is building, so it kind of sucks that didn't happen, but... Ah, uh, the SCV also getting just bad luck of the draw here on the building placement. Yeah, he could have gone to that little left corner and been perfectly fine, but no. See, that's the problem. He pulls that other SCV so late, the Zerglings are actually going to intercept it. Ooh. Uh, you can still make a T-Rex work with just uh, Marines, of course, but it's the bunkers that give you that game-killing strength. But Fantasy, if he's going to pull back, then this is a failure, and the bunker gets cancelled, and I'm a little bit worried for our Terran player. I don't think this is going his way. <laughs> it is a failure. Um, we'll see if he decides to try and surprise the opponent with like, just a mass amount of Marines, or if he really does pull back entirely. It's another SCV kill. Nice stutter step you're out of uh, fantasy, minimizing the uh, attack rate of these lings. This is one marine. But uh, yeah, down three SCVs. Yeah, he's pulling back entirely. Yikes. This mm -hmm. could not have gone worse for him. Mm hmm. Let's, uh, fantasy, you're going to go for a third CC? It looks like it. He's making up almost a 400 mineral, so. It's a little dangerous. If your opponent had gotten gas behind this, I would say I have speed, and it's just, it's, well, it's going to be difficult to actually hold on to. Your natural, much less an actual third base without Heli and Zald ASAP. I mean, we see three CCs be a very common follow-up to uh, two axes, whether they're failure or not. And I really like the bunker, or sorry, the barracks wall here. This has got so much, uh, I guess, beef to it. Banelings can't actually bust this down normally, like if you did a supply depot wall. So, uh, yeah. Fantasy, oddly enough, should be okay. If True had gotten gas, you know, mind you, that he, the speed would have almost been done. And I think he would have kept those other lings alive as opposed to trying to go for the SCV. And these these marines actually would have been swamped. Um, and thus, you know, leads to, well, fantasy being in trouble. But as it's not the case, yeah, this wall looks great. Three CCs are going to be fantastic and true. True's going maybe for fast lair again? I, you got to figure that no, right? Because now it's like, it's got to be 100% confirmed fantasy's going to go for bio. Maybe they go with two racks. They actually put a factory down on another factory, maybe. But a third racks? I don't think so. Those super sick moments where you're like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fake him out here with this wall. It looks like bio, but I'm really going the worst build I can, and that's I mech. I think I've seen someone actually go for a four barracks wall off and then still go mech behind it. So I, know I, that I, I, I think the the craziest wall off I've ever seen, I think Cass went like, it was Cass versus Golden on Overgrowth, and Cass gets really paranoid at the counterattack, so he goes like six Raxes at the top of his ramp. <laughs> 
Oh, I, I guess that was the killed overlord. Yeah, That's nice cool. liftoff, yeah. Now, of course, by doing this, you know, getting Stib as fast as he is, he did give up a factory. Uh, now might be a case where he gets the factory just like you would for a Protoss player. You just get to swap the reactor onto the uh, starport. I think Hellions, though, are too good an opportunity to pass up, especially since they do uh, go into Hellbats. Yeah. I think it'd be worth just to, to pump out the six, even though you have so much marine production. Ah, that's the thing, though. Like, he's got a lot of marine production, and he's gearing up for Stim. He's burning all these scans for to see exactly what his opponent's doing. Uh, just everything for fantasy, start to finish, is not looking so hot. I mean, he's going to have a pretty nice army supply, I suppose, but I don't know. Even with a third CC, I'm not really smelling the macro game going too well for him. Down by 10 workers still. I mean, this is, I guess, kind of expected due to the way Larva works, but still. Oh, look at this. He's, he's really worried about the debris field falling. I don't feel so bad for fantasy, but I really want to see what happens in the first fight. I feel like if True can get, like, even halfway decent Bailing Connects, it's going to be game over. Mm, I don't know. I do not know. Well, one thing Fantasy is definitely missing out on are um, upgrades right now. He didn't get to engineer base. Uh, it looks like he did go for the factory just to swap onto the starport. I don't think it's a bad move. Now, he did scan and he tried to see what the lair timing was. Unfortunately, he scanned the wrong hatch and even then the lair hadn't started by then. He didn't know that. So he's kind of hoping that Muta is going to be really late. If he gets Metavax out fast enough, he has a big Marine count. They have Stim. You can do a lot of damage with Metabox. Oh, speaking of stutter, I'm getting some. Are you seeing this too? No. Okay, cool. Starcraft uh, has been just so great lately. Do you have a... Uh... Hmm. This will probably go away in a few moments, guys. It's been happening a lot the last couple days. Starcraft servers as well have been very unstable. Yesterday, the entire European battle net was down for... Oh, you know why? They're getting prepped for the Legacy of the Void beta. JK, don't believe JK, the word they're installing here. Oceanic Service for World of Warcraft instead. <laughs> oh, who wants those? Zeph does, for sure. Okay, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm like really worried I'm gonna like lag out. Like, are these guys feeling the lag? Like, this is, for the stream. I don't feel any lag. Just saying. Hang on, let me check. Do frames dropped? Maybe I am like lagging. No, straight up, no frames dropped. So stream, you're seeing this, and this is just like FPS in game. This is... Not latency related. Starcraft well, fantasy, 2 performance. Woo! Fantasy goes for the drop. True is actually prepared for this with a lot of banelings and a lot of lings. No way he does anything here. You could target it down, but then you do this close. Should have network spikes? Control F. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I'll give this a good old relog after this game. Hope that fixes things. Uh, we got the attack starting up here, though. Banelings not quite ready for this. Got Wait, burrowed was Banelings, maybe. Was that killed? Not cancel? I think it was. Cancels all the Banelings over here. I see a million cancel messages. Ooh, fill up the screen. Uh, yeah, Banelings speed finishes up pretty quick, oddly enough. Uh, there's only about 13 Banelings in mm. play, though, so. Hmm, True is not getting a Spire. Is he gonna go for a Ling all in? Usually it's 1 1. You know, if he hits by when 2 2 finishes, that'll be way too late, I feel. Um. But I think he is going to just try and overpower Fantasy with Lings, and then go for Mutas. Now this means that Fantasy gets a lot of opportunity to do damage with this drop, obviously. But I don't think Fantasy would be expecting this. Yeah, Mutas are just a just staple part of the matchup. Uh, you kind of gotta be wondering at least, you know, what's up. Lings coming in, I like that he doesn't this he doesftentimes this with too few. Oftentimes we see just like 10 Lings segmented in as soon as they hatch and they die really fast. But uh, that is the problem, though. Without those mutas, you don't really have a good way to deal with this. I like the broad banelings. I just don't like that they're on creep. Terran players always going to be scanning creep anyways to clean it up, so those might get revealed before they get any real use. 90 seconds. A minute and a half to go, if, if that's what True is waiting for. Um, that's a long time without mutas. That's a long time for Fantasy to actually get a, a pretty decent wood of mine count, add in some Thors as well. Oh, banelings should tear right through this bunker. Yeah, no supply depots to help out either. Yeah, the broad guys on bro. He knew it was coming. Yeah, that's why you don't put Banelings in creep. Makes it too easy. Yeah. Banelings are actually left behind. I don't like this. There's a wood of mine that could uh, definitely ruin this counterattack. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, nice. It's actually not going to be enough to even break the bunker. Look wow. at that. Wow. That sucks for true, but in the meantime, the oh. depot was left down. <laughs> oh. I didn't think that was actually down. 
Uh, this really sucks. If he's, uh, he's going for the SCVs. I kind of think killing the reactors might be better. I don't know. But both players trading out here. Left side of the map has been uh, kind of stopped. Oh, God, no. Zombie Gub, no. I know there's an attack oh, going on here, oh. guys, but hang on. Oh, ah. oh no! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, just go off. 16 wow, kills on one. Oh, that's nasty. He's going to tear down that barracks and open up the wall once again. And this Ling Flood should work. He's going on 30 more Lings after this. Not trying to replace drones. Not trying to go for more saturation at all. And Fantasy's natural has been 100% compromised. Third base now to attack two. That bunker's you point out still okay. stands, but oh, oh the SCVs! No. No, oh, no! no 42 Fantasy workers dead! kill a third base, but the fourth was allowed to stay up, and he lost all of the Marines that were attacking. That's why Fantasy has such a low army count. Oh. A lot of Marines went down trying to kill things they didn't. Oh, we can't chase out of the base. Oh, that's gonna be sick. Oh, Well, it's, it's actually not that many Marines to hit, though, right? Like, <laughs> see, that's what I mean. <laughs> well, what, whatever there is, uh, might be better. Don't unload here. <laughs> okay, Fantasy's gonna go across the map with this. Uh, jump off uh, another attack. Yeah, he's gonna- Lift! He's got to reposition that circling now. Uh, two woodwinds over here, still very scary to see. Two pretty heavy medevacs heading towards this main. Looking for attack at the third instead, never mind. Yo, Fantasy lost so much for that. Oh, those woodwinds again! They kill all the banelings, so sick! Yeah, let's go to the main. Really abusive cliff here. You guys remember Star Station, this happened a lot. Oh, Fantasy doesn't have a wall, and with reactors in the way, I think he... Oh, actually, he can rebuild them. Um, but no, not, hmm, can you ever really take a third again? Sure, has so many lings and banelings. I'm finally going up to meet us, so this, oh, that's weird. So these drops won't do as much damage. Push back a little bit. Uh, banelings, I wish, you know, we show the Yuna's kill stab here, like, 43 banelings dead, it's not much to look at, but to know, like, so many have died to widow mines is kind of a big deal. I'm still waiting, like, this is such a cool spot to put the bailings because this is typically, like, you'll have a chain player rally toward, like, to the bottom of the ramp or something, right? Um, man, this is really scrappy, and I like the impacts opening to the game. Finally, a Mutalisk's coming out as well. He's got a pretty nice army supply lead, and, of course, those SUVs are still in the gutter. 15 meters at once. He did have a large bank. I don't know if Fantasy has enough to do it. I mean, he was doing so well with the Marines and the Medivacs, but that's not going to happen anymore. And now you're just going to depend on good old engagements face to face. And he doesn't have that great of an army. Man, I keep waiting for this, uh, <laughs> these panels to get used, right? Like, I don't want to miss it. Everyone's going to be so mad if I do. Wait, if they if he scanned, would a man, would a man kill it? Yeah, I think so. But why would you scan your natural like this? There's no reason. No, I, I well, unless you actually were paying that close attention to the terrain. I guess, yeah. Okay, overloads here. Uh, overseers here. Yo, oh! Shoot, he could bait this! Ah, that's not that good. That could have gone way better. <laughs> to be honest, was that Marines to really get to be good, so... <laughs> I was just like, man, I waited on this for so long, the payoff was not worth it. <laughs> True is gonna swamp fantasy here. Oh, oh no. Oh, fantasy. You gonna die. Oh man, we got uh, Crank joining us in chat. That lewd, crude guy. I guess he's cheering for true, right? Probably. Yeah. Ooh, TV. I suppose that hit still went off, yeah, but the turret's not going to be enough to execute. So the Marines come here, he'll be able to abuse this cliff, similar to what uh, Fantasy was doing against him a little bit earlier. Tank? Ooh, going to get sniped off at the cost of that Thor shot. Uh, of course, no longer with an Overseer, has got to be very careful. Doesn't know if there's more Widow Mines or not. Meanwhile, this uh, National Base getting quite a few kills. Wow, actually, that's a lot of kills. Goes from the third to the Natural. 53 workers killed for uh, him so far, and that's... Ugh, that sucks, quite frankly. Get two units as well. Still trying to do stuff in the main. Uh, the main's almost completely mined out, so that could potentially go to a fourth. Although, like, good luck actually holding a fourth is on a planetary. Uh, if it was a planetary, I think she would uh, be willing to put banelings onto it. But fantasy is buying a lot of time. He's gonna have three three, which is a pretty uh, it's pretty nice considering he has really nothing else going for him. And if he could get max, maybe he could take a good defensive engagement. I'm not so sure about actually pushing out. I'm surprised Fantasy's actually recovered to this point as well. Uh, I, I felt like the SV damage he took was like way too big, but the recovery process has been slow and he's back on track. But yeah, the three three is really all he's got going for him. Maybe a couple good defensive engagements might start leveling up the playfield, but I kind of feel like True's oh. not gonna. 
One I can't see that being in there. <laughs> you, you can't kill marines though. It doesn't do enough damage. Uh, but that's the thing. Like I'm, I, I'm starting to think like it's going to take true throwing a really, a really bad engagement with the big supply account that he has. Like every attack should this would be this big swamp of units. There shouldn't really be trading. It should be just overwhelming. Well, true going on to a fifth, playing this pretty patiently. I uh, probably realize he doesn't really have a bank, so if there was one to do things, it'd be a couple of good wood of mine shots, and then suddenly Fantasy's army is bigger than yours. So as long as you know, he waits a little while longer, that's okay. Good control here, by the way, too. Uh, Micro's back and snipes out that wood of mine before it gets too out of hand. Dropping towards the main, though, it looks like uh, it's attacking the fourth, too, and, fourth. and the fifth. Yeah, all over the place. True under attack. Oh, oh, he catches a lot of mutas! That was pretty nice. Uh, pushing out though, pushing out is so dangerous. He is spreading through a little bit of parts. I mean, the drop still continuing at every base. Getting the spawning pool is cool and all, but not really like uh, not really so bad for true. It's 200 minerals. This is how we remember to remake it. There's so many Zerg players who don't. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Drop still continuing. Two Marines are trying their damnness to kill just as many drones as possible. How many drones have been killed? 69 for true and 47 <laughs> for fantasy. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Nothing, I'm childish. Okay. 69. Oh, I was like, what? 69 uh. for dick pics, true. <laughs> <laughs> fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Do you really have to push out now? Are you really that I don't to push like out this. Now? I mean, he's got You're a tank and a lot of widow mines, and that's cool, but yo, this is. I feel suicidal. I think so too. Choose oh, to screw it. Oh my god, oh. those Widow Mines! <laughs> he kills 27 kills on that one Widow Mine! Thor, pay attention! Thor, pay attention! Thor! Don't uh, you turn that was the one pretty... Are you serious? You know what? That was pretty Thorable. <laughs> but at the same time, Fantasy is like... I, I mean, I don't oh, think no. this needed to be a base trait out of True, but he's got 74 Lings reinforcing. Where do those go? To the defense, or does he run them across the map? Uh, so we'll see how we can hold on for his defense here. The problem is they're not going to be coming out like together, they're going to be coming out all spread was apart. There, isn't it like 30 banelings? Oh, they all went to the main. Ah, I was like, where the hell do they go? Okay, so stocking up, waiting for that, that push up the ramp. This is the He's army of 300 holding at the hot gates. Hey, okay, not to be like, you know, anticlimactic and all that, but he could just win a straight, like, actual base trade. He's going to physically kill all the buildings, yeah. Uh, one command center no tries way. to sneak away. He would have to sneak that command center over here. He might. Oh, well, if True doesn't know it. Oh, damn it. Okay, you're right. There's no CVs out. True is gonna win game number three through an actual building race. Not even a problem. I think a lot of times too we forget in StarCraft 2 that this is ultimately how the game was designed.